Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all having a great Tuesday. Well, today is floss tube day and it is my 225th floss tube. And today is Tuesday, April 23rd, I had to think, 23rd, 2024. And yeah, so... What have you guys been up to? Because evidently I've been to, up to a few things, but not as bad as some days have been or weeks have been, shall we say. And I do have my April cup. I keep wanting to say May. I, let's push this along. Let's go. Yeah, because I'd rather it be warmer weather and I don't want it to be hot, but I, I want it to be warmer Today we have jasmine green tea as usual. So, it's not going to be a very long floss tube. I didn't do a whole lot. I still haven't gotten my new glasses yet. They haven't called. So, we'll just have to wait and see about that. But, let's find out what I worked on. So, we had three reviews and I had four starts. So, this one... Came from VIP Cross Stitch Part 2. And it I didn't get back to stitching any. Well, if I can get it out. Holy cow, everybody is attaching themselves here. So it is the mouse. The two mice and the the flowers. I just think that is just adorbs. Love it. And it's not very big, as you will see. Trying to figure out which side's up. So yeah, all I got done was that part of that flower. So, and then I went down here just a little bit. So we'll see just a little bit at a time. And of course, since it's a small one, it's going to stay out through summer for sure. I have a basket right over here. And it has all of my Joy Sunday kits, whether they're big or small. Just the ones that I have worked on in, say, the past two or three months, if you will. So I keep them out. And then everything else has got their own bag. The next one that I started was from Diamond, uh, Diamond Art Decor. Say that three times fast. Oops, I guess it'd probably help if I showed you the picture. This has a lot of thread to it. I don't know what they thought they were doing, but yeah. So, was working on this red bird right here. We did that for the uh, Saturday, Saturday animal, you know, for April. So, I'm still looking. Haven't decided what I'm going to do in May, but yeah. I haven't gotten that far. So the only part that I worked on was this part right here. And like I said, I'm going to have to get into better light to kind of cipher through those. They look a little close and I can't tell what was what when I was doing the video, that is. So, yeah, it'll need to be ciphered. Okay, put that up there. I want to keep working on that. And was it yesterday? Yeah. Sad or yeah. Whew. Monday. Holy cow. This does not have a picture. So this is the only picture that I have of this. It's that beautiful, gorgeous peacock. I was just fried last night, so I didn't work on it any more than what I did. I was looking. What is that? Oh. Hmm. It's just a piece of thread. So, all I got done was the neck part that I'm working on, so I'll be trying to fill in all this purple that goes down here, and then it starts and kind of spreads, spreads out. But that's that dark purple symbol that I'm working on. So I got another strand to do with that. And sorry for the crinkling. 
it's just, it is what it is. Get it out of the way so it will stop making noise. Then I started this one on my own. It's a little bit easier. This is also from Diamond Art Decor. It's the beach houses. I don't know, what is it really called? Seaside Villages. Villages. I thought it said villagers. So, yep, I started over here in the tree and on this pink house, which is the first house, on the right-hand side. I always seem to start on the right-hand side for some reason. So, I'll show you what I got done with that. So, it's coming right along. So, I started up here on the top trying to put that sky in just so I could see what it was going to look like against that pink. Now, of course, there's going to be a, what do you call it? Um, oh my goodness. Back stitching. And there's a few French knots. There's some flowers there that get French knots. So, yeah. But, yeah, it's coming along. So, I was trying to finish up this upper part of this house. And I did start on the uh, palm trees over here. So, I got a little bit of that done. And I thought, no, I'm just going to start on that, that house. So, I'll have to come down here and do all that. But, yeah, I think it's going to look cool. I really do. And I think the back stitching is going to help it 900%. You know, it'll bring out all the details and stuff of the houses. So, I've been working on it until my fingers almost bleed. But, you know, we're good now. Had a, a day to stop and not do anything. Because I told you Mondays are just either hell on wheels or whatever. And by the time I get home Monday night, I don't want to do nothing. I just... And yesterday was no exception. So, the next one that I worked... So, that's all the starts. So, I worked on Riverside a little bit. I know, you really can't tell. I'm working on... Hang on. Let me do it this way. Some of that top background stuff. And I got tired of just going on and on and on. So, I quit that. But I put in a little bit of it, so just a little bit at a time because it's going to be a bear. It's just, for me, only because it's just so boring. And I worked down here in those trees by that, I'll call it a bridge. There might be a building there. I haven't decided in my brain what that is. And there's not a close-up picture, so yeah. So, I put in a few stitches on it. I did not work on the beast. I just, I couldn't. Just didn't appeal to me this weekend. So, maybe next weekend. Hang on. I'm trying, everything's falling. You, you gotta understand what's going on here. I worked on my red pavilion. And it is, was from Paint Some Way. 50 by 50, and this is what it looks like, and I'm still working in the pavilion part. I did do a little bit. My paper fell. Sorry. Going down. Here we go. Okay. So, this is what it looks like, and I started a little bit on the sky over here. I didn't know what it was, so I thought it was going to be trees. So, yeah, that didn't happen. So, just filling it in as I go, and it's a little bit confettied in a lot of places. Not nearly as bad as um, New Orleans or London. You know, it, but you get in there and you go, oh, crap, there's like four of this one, two of this one, one of that. I'm like, okay, pick something. So, sometimes I have such a hard time trying to figure out what color I'm going to stitch with that I just put it away because it's just in my brain. can't do it. 
I also worked on, you know, and we got threads everywhere. I'm trying to keep everybody together. This is that red lily. It's a 14 count. So, yeah, not making a whole bunch of progress on it. Just some of the bigger areas. It's easier almost to see what I did on the back. But I like it. It's small. It's cute. And, you know, the threads don't weigh a whole bunch. But, yeah. So, I work on it. But I really was into working on the, uh, the beach houses. So, yeah. That's where most of my time was spent. And one more that I worked on that I started on the 13th, actually writing these things down, is, oh my gosh, what in the heck is going? Oh, I see. There was a staple here. This is the Retro Elegant Flowers from Fan Cells. Love this. So I worked on it until I couldn't handle you know, grasping the material. So, another piece of thread, as usual. Hold, please. There'll be a hot moment. So, I worked down here. Nope, that ain't gonna happen. Fold. This thing is just wide. I get it so it's not you know, the light doesn't go through it. So, I worked on those grapes and a little bit more of this tablecloth thing that goes right here. Didn't get a whole bunch done. I put in four or five strands of color. But, yeah. So, it's coming along. But I really enjoy working on it. And I wanted to work, see, down here where I can just grab it. And I'm not holding so much material. So, that's why... Hold that thought. I didn't go back and do any more of this. It, it's almost the same thing, but there's still a lot more material up there. So, yep, just a little bit at a time. But that, I think, is everything that I've worked on here and there this week. So, yeah. And some things I only did, like, a thread. Yeah, I was done. I just, I tried to work on my uh, great wall in silk. I got one whole six strand thread put in and I was like, okay, not today. And it kept catching on my hands and I guess I've washed my hands so much. I know I have lovely hand cream. I have one, two, three that sit out all the time. Yeah, do I use it? But I don't know. Every once in a while, my hands feel like they just need to be sanded. If that makes sense. And I cut off my nails because they were just here, there, and everywhere. So it's been a real exciting week, guys. I'm telling you, between laundry and cutting my nails. Yeah, it's been exciting. So... Anyway, I think that's about it for today. I No plans for the weekend. I still, if you have any suggestions for what we can do in May, the only thing I can think of is May flowers, but if you can come up with anything else, I think we can just about handle any situation, you know? I think. Maybe. So... Make a suggestion. We'll see. You never know. Alright guys. Well thank you for joining me today. If you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye bye. Keep stitching.